Well, spring is in the air, and as most of the baseball fans know, the Chicago Cubs are doing their spring training out here, out on Catalina Island. And so, to please you fans who want to know what's going on, we've brought to our program tonight a gentleman who's long been a mainstay of the Chicago Cubs, the dean of the Major League Catchers, Mr. Gabby Hartnett. Thanks, Mr. Wilson. Thanks, everybody. It's great to have you here, because I've been hearing some rumors that I want you to correct for me. Yeah? Yeah. I understand that some folks are trying to start propaganda to the effect that the National League is washed up. Now, wait a minute. Well, don't get me wrong, Gabby. I don't believe it either. But I just wanted to get your slant on it. Sorry, pal. But when I hear that rumor, I wish I had a ball bat in my hand. <laughs> the National League washed up. Did you see what we did to the White Sox right here in Los Angeles on Tuesday and Wednesday? Well, well, I know you Cubs have been a little rough on them. Yes, and that's only the beginning. I'll admit the National League has had a lot of tough luck in the last few seasons. In some ways, the Giants didn't look too good against the Yanks in the World Series last year. But that don't mean a thing. The Nationals are fundamentally sound. Is that it, Gabby? You bet your bottom dollar they are, Mr. Wilson. Now, tell me something. How did you ever get the name of Gabby? Well, Mr. Wilson, you won't believe this, but I get the name for just the opposite reason. When I left home as a kid, I came from Woonsocket, Rhode Island. No crack. <laughs> My dad said to me, Charlie, the only advice I can give you... Now that you are leaving home, if you keep your ears open and your mouth shut. So you did it? Sure. I was the quietest fellow you've ever seen. Finally, newspaper men started kidding me about it and calling me Gabby, just because I didn't hardly talk. Well, the name stuck, and all of a sudden I started living up to it. I haven't stopped talking since. Say, uh... Listen, what's going on around here anyway? I'm master of ceremonies, and I think I should be introducing the people. Get this man out of here. I've got a program to put on. <laughs> I, uh, I'm expecting a baseball player. Well, thanks. I, this yeah. is Gabby Hartnett. Well, I've never heard of the... Oh, oh, Gabby Hartnett. Well, that's different. How are you, Mr. Hartnett? Fine, thanks, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's good to see you. Uh, Wilson, who is this man? <laughs> I just told you, Frank. This uh, is Gabby Hartnett, the catcher for the Chicago Cubs. They're in spring training over on the island. Oh, well, of course, the island. <laughs> oh, Alcatraz. <laughs> <laughs> Do they have a uh, baseball there, too? <laughs> How did you get away? <laughs> Catalina Island, Mr. Morgan. Oh, well, I'm glad you're out anyway. Frank, uh, yeah. are you interested in baseball? You're interested? I love it. I used to pitch on a team at Vassa. At Vassa. Yeah. Frank, Vassar is a girl's school. Yes, I found that out. Uh, but my real baseball career began when I joined the Baltimore Orioles. That was a great team, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. What position did you play? Well, I was sort of a roving infield man. <laughs> I, uh, I had a terrific speed in those days, of course, and sometimes I used to pitch and catch at the same time. <laughs> now, wait a minute, Mr. Morgan. How could you pitch and catch at the same time? Well, I was very fast. I'd throw the ball and then run to the plate and catch it. You must have been fast, all right. Oh, I was, my boy. Only once did I have any trouble. I, uh, I put a little too much zing on the ball and hit myself in the back of the head. <laughs> I suppose you had a little trouble getting out to left field when somebody hit one. Oh, they never hit him, but hitting. Now, that was my real specialty. I was one of the greatest pinch hitters of my day. Now, look, Frank, if you were so good, why did you ever quit baseball? Well, that was a little incident, Mary. This didn't mean a thing, but it finished me. It was the night before the big game. I, uh, I was having trouble with my glasses. Your glasses? Uh, yes, I had too many of them. <laughs> uh, I, I... <laughs> I mean, I was being fitted with new glasses. They put drops in my eyes, so naturally the next day my vision was none too clear. Oh, well, you were seeing double, eh? Yeah, triple. <laughs> All these were very powerful drops, sherry and angostura bitters. <laughs> so, uh, so the manager was trying to save me for the crucial moment, and finally, in the ninth inning, it arrived. We were one run behind, the bases were loaded, and they sent me in to pinch hit. What a spot. Well, sir, the pitch wound up and zing. I saw three balls whiz past me. I turned to the manager and I said, Joe, what can I do? I'm seeing three balls. What did he say? Well, he said, don't worry, Frank, just hit the one in the middle. <laughs> so the next one I looked over carefully. I wanted to get a good line on the middle ball. Well, it was two strikes on me. The pitch wound up and those three balls came at me again. Wham! I swung at the middle ball. Did you connect? Yes, but I hit it with the wrong bat. <laughs> <laughs> Well, so long, boys. i got to make a phone call. I'll be back in a minute. Don't go away. <laughs> well, Gabby, you certainly did well with our audience. 
Why not? I've got the whole Cub team sitting out in front. <laughs> well, anyway, it was nice of you to come up here and clown with us. And lots of luck to you and the Cubs all season. Thanks, Mr. Wilson. 